In the previous video, we extracted steps. Now in this video, let's learn how to extract direction from user's query. For this, we are going to use custom entities. So if I come here, I'll just save this and I'll hit on this plus icon next to the intents. It can create new intents. I'll say user provides direction. If you have noticed the way I give name to my intent, then you will understand that I'm, I'm naming my intent in a way that it explain to me later when I look back that this intent trying to extract the direction. So here, let's say uh, forward or take forward direction take backward steps let's say go backward any number of uh, phrases that you can think of are good but if you have noticed there is no annotation here at this point so what i'll do is that i'll save this for now then go to entities and i'll create the first entity now you can see here the first thing there is entity name then there are four things uh, define synonyms uh, regex entity allow automated expansion and fuzzy matching now all these four option mean something regex entity is used when you want to extract a particular pattern inside user's query like a ticket number one two three a b c one two three you can say that there must be three digit followed by three number followed by three digit so in case you want to extract those kind of things you use regex entity fuzzy matching is used to extract uh, like a ball red ball green ball you can read more about these regex and fuzzy matching here on the official documentation of Dialogflow. In order to understand main functionality of Dialogflow, we will only be working with defined synonyms and allowed automated expansion. That means your entity is defined by synonyms. Since we are building an interface where we want to extract direction, I will give name to my entity as direction. And here when I click, it will provide enter reference value. So I'll say, uh, for example, backward. And here I'll provide the synonyms. So backward is a synonym. Let's say uh, back side. Let's say back. Now I'll create one more. Let's say forward. Uh, I'll say uh, front side ahead. You can provide, you know, as much uh, synonym as you can for that particular uh, entity. I'll hit save here. Now I'll go to intents. I'll click on our user provides direction. Now if I come here, I click on it and search for direction. You can see our entity is now available. When I click here, it will extract backward. Let me annotate all of these. I'll say take back steps. 
and I'll assign this to direction as well. And let me put in a response that you have entered dollar direction direction and I'll save this now when I say take backward steps hopefully yeah you can see that our intent user provides direction collide with user provide steps so for that i'll remove these words from user provides direction now if i say take backward now you can see that our intent is identified correctly but our entity was not extracted correctly and there is no strict reason for that but i'll save this again and i'll say i'll, I'll copy this and i'll use it here yeah you can see it is now identified you have entered backward direction i'm sure you are now able to understand system entity and custom entity in the next video let's look into combine entities